So about two weeks ago at this point, I uploaded a teaser trailer for my new Minecraft map. A lot of you liked it, and a lot of you asked a couple of questions. And in this video, I just want to go over the um, features that this map has and what uh, will come later. Because I've only been working on this for like a month, so... And the first thing I want to talk about is for this is for version 1.16.3. At the moment, it'll probably be uh, compatible with 1.16.4 or 5. Um, but the issue is, I'm planning to release this in August, and Mojang has announced that 1.17 will be released. Probably before that, it will probably be released um, somewhere at the end of this season, I think. Uh, probably around June or something. So, I'm still like. Should I upgrade it to 1.17 because the updates are probably um, if they change too many things with commands and like they delete delete the execute command or something, I won't update this because then um, my whole map is ruined. But if they don't really change any with anything with commands and I could just upgrade it, then I'll probably just do it because that's better for everyone, I think. So um, the map has quite a few features <laughs> currently. As you can see, I currently have the end map loaded, but um, I'll show you more of those in the in a bit. First of all, I want to show off the game modifiers. Um, for every section there is, like this wall, um, there's a little, there are little banners with letters, and the letters are like um, green and blue to represent the zombies' colors. And this has game modifiers because it uh, has things you can, it has like settings you can enable to make your game more fun or hard or easier. I don't know. So the first setting is Spleef. When you turn this on, um, nothing will happen right now. The sign will change and stuff. And um, behind the scenes, a scoreboard value will be updated. And when you start the game, I will actually do that right now because, like, why not? Um, as you can see, when you start the game and you wait a little bit, and this depends on which wave you're in, you will start to get spleefed. If you just wait for a second here, also this music. As you can see, I just got spleefed. Uh, let me stop that for a second. Hey, there we go. So I just got spleefed. Um, it's only one block, and it's not really that hard to avoid, but... Eh, it's, it's a start. You'll, you'll see more about that later. So, then we have... I'll throw that off. Then we have 2 times health for the player and 2 times health for the zombies. If you turn the player one on, you will get a health boost effect, and as well as a quick regen effect, if I go into survival. Uh, I now have 2 times the amount of hearts, so I now have like 40 heart values. Um, and if you turn it back on, you'll take a little damage and all your hearts will be gone. The, the regeneration is there so that it immediately fills up. And then it has the zombies thing. If I turn this on and I start the game, all the zombies will spawn with two times as much health. I don't really have to show that off. Then we have hunger. Um, this will be on by default because that's how it is in Minecraft. But if you turn this off, you will get saturation forever until you turn it back on. Uh, which means the hunger will, will like, you'll never get hungry. So I'm going to turn it on for now. Then we have Ultra Spleef, uh, this isn't finished. Then we have Ultra Spleef, if I turn this on, I go into a game. Um, I might just get a kit as well, uh, you're not really supposed to see it as well, there's a little random kit. Um, and I just start the game here, then, as you can see, instead of normal spleefing, it will be a hole to um, death, pretty much. Now, normally, when you fall into the Endless Abyss, you will die. Because I made the map, I made it so that I don't die under a certain Y value. Uh, but yeah, um, function stop. I'm probably gonna die before this. Okay, there we go. So, then there's also this um, unfinished one, which is called Disasters. Now, if you are, um, if you visit my website right now, which there will be a link for in the description, you can see a lot of like um, stuff that isn't um, in the map yet. Which is coming soon, including these disasters. There will be like a couple of random disasters that can happen, like fireballs raining, floods. I don't know. I'm still working on that. But there's nothing behind here, as you can see. I will make a video for the more technical people on my channel because they are people who are interested in that. So that I'll show like the commands because there's, as you can see, quite a lot to show off. <laughs> but I'll try to hide some of that right now. So let me go to the first layer or like the main layer. Um, right here you have a, an armor stand of me, he's um, like encasing in barrier blocks so you can't destroy him. If you click this button, I'm gonna have to go into creative mode for that. This will show up, um, you, the, my YouTube link, my Twitter link, and click here if you're a YouTuber. No YouTubers are gonna play this, but if they do, um, I'm gonna have to remove this. If they do, um, I want them to credit me, 
with my YouTube channel, it's just a message. This is a trophy room, as you can see, uh, there's two entrances to the left and to the right of my statue. Uh, this isn't finished, it's supposed to be more, but if you get a achievement, an achievement, uh, the lamp will light up and also a message will show, show up in chat. As you can see, I have not collected the ocean collectible achievement, so I'll try to get that one to show off the achievement system. Next up we have the kits wall. Now, the thing with this, these wall systems is that you can only really place like uh, 8 or 10 of them on the wall, um, and I want to make way more than 10 maps and kits. So I have to like find a system for that. If any of you have um, an idea how I should like make the player select the kits so I can have over a hundred kits or something. Basically this is how it works right now. This is the boulder kit which is the one I have selected right now. If I press it again I will clean my inventory and give you the items using the replace item command. The swordsman kit looks like this. I'll just show them all off. Is it a little X? Uh, the archer kit looks like this. It has a bow with power 2 punch 1 infinity. And only one arrow, of course. Magician kit has uh, all most of the types of splash potions, but only one of them, of course. The healer kit, ha the healer kit has a lot of healing potions. And this kit really sucks, but okay. The troller kit has a sharpness five wooden sword, a, a knockback ten stick, um, and then some sponges, and then some eggs and stuff. That's the god kit, which is kind of like the eerie lore bit of my map. Uh, this is insane. It's the uh, the sword is called God's Revenge. It's a netherite sword with sharpness ten, smite ten, knockback ten, fire spec ten, looting ten, and sweeping edge ten. A totem of undying, sixteen enchantable naples, and this read me thing which I won't show. Six four obsidian, and then diamond tools, and then there's a noob kit because you need a noob kit, and then there's a noob face as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a god face as well. Yeah, there you go. And also insane armor as well. Uh, for now, I'll probably just go with. The normal swordsman kit, or yeah, the swordsman kit. Um, as you can see, this god kit um, has a lot to do. If you go back to the trophy room, um, and to the last trophy, as you can see, it says um, absolutely nothing. It has a connection with the god thing. Um, you may be able to guess it. <laughs> It's really it's really strange. But here we have the map wall. This is my the thing I like uh, first made when I started developing this map. It has currently currently has ten maps, ranging from plains. You have to stand here to like activate them. So plains, desert, the Nether, and I have like blocks indicating what map it is. Cave, the end, island, house, ocean. I have to get a collectible here, so I'll pick ocean. Void and winter. Winter is my favorite. But for now, we'll go ocean. So I get a collectible. As you can see, the map hasn't changed. Even though I selected Ocean and all those other maps, it's still the end map because you have to actually uh, load the map in the control panel wall. Um, so here I have a load map, start game, uh, display chosen settings and clear inventories. If I press this button, um, it will say the map is selected as Ocean. The map version is 1.0, this will change. Um, I also have it display game modifiers when those are enabled, um, but there is not enabled. And then clear all inventories, just clear your inventory, I have to give me that kit again. That's actually kind of disgusting. Um, yeah, this is there's a lot of functions here. Um, that's for the technical video. It's a display chosen settings that works. Load map. If I pre I'm trying to show you this. One. Yeah, there we go. This is the ocean map. Um, as you see, the collectibles literally just in the chest. Uh, I don't really have a better place to put it, but okay. Then you have start game, and when you press the start game button, a couple of things will happen. It will put you in survival mode. When you're outside the playing area, it will be in, in an adventure mode, so you can't destroy anything. But inside of the arena, you will have survival mode, so you can destroy stuff. If you try to destroy this wall, it will automatically regenerate, um, so that, that's really not a way to get out. Also on the end map, there's coarse fruit. Um, if you have coarse fruit in, in your inventory, it will automatically disappear to prevent you from just teleporting out. Uh, and also music will start to play. I'll I'll add like some settings um, to disable music and sound effects and stuff. There's also to disable sound effects and stuff. And there's also this thing in my it's kind of white in my um, above my hot bar, which shows the current wave, the amount and the amount of kills that you have um, out of the amount of kills that you need. So now it's wave one. So I'll start the game. And as you can see, zombies will start to spawn randomly around the map. So I'm gonna get the collectible right here. Oh god. So I, I, I got the collectible, but as you can see the achievement didn't show up. And that's because like I'm still having issues with the achievements not showing up in chat. Um, sometimes they do, sometimes, sometimes they don't, so I really have to fix that somehow. 
I think it's because my command blocks are like out of render distance. So maybe if I get more render distance, they'll show up. No, probably not. They're not that far out, but... So on the ocean map, if I have Spleef on, which I do right now... Did I did I keep Spleef enabled? Why did I do that? I didn't, right? I'm trying to check. Is my map broken? <laughs> it seems to be. Hmm... Wait a minute. Let me get over here. Oh no, wait. Oh no, wait, it's, it's, oh no, Ultra Spleef is still on. Oh god. That's not, I didn't mean to do that. Mistakes happen. Oh. <laughs> Please die. You'll see why this, like, timing thing is uh, in the creative, or in the uh, technical video. There's a lot of stuff going on in the background. Uh, but this needs to be, where is it? Oh yeah, there we go. This needs to be turned off. And also, I'm pretty sure I just mined holes in my map. Amazing. <laughs> Luckily, it's not really that hard to fix because it's just white. You might also be wondering why these are lit up even though there's like nothing powering them. That's another thing for the technical video. I will be posting a technical video in a few days, by the way. Uh, let's just go back in. So as you can see, the collectible didn't give me the chat achievement. Um, but the collectible was actually collected. And if you go to the trophy room, it should be here. And I go to the ocean thing, it is lit up. Um, and as you can see, it should show a message. Um, that should be right here. And as you can see, it activated it, but somehow it didn't do it. I, I don't know how this works. Um, it just shows the chat achievement get. Uh, I might as well show you it. It doesn't really matter. Let me close my chat. There we go. That's what it's supposed to show up, but it doesn't show up. If someone knows how to fix that, please tell me. Maybe it's because I'm in a. No, I'm not in adventure mode. I have no clue. Uh, ocean collectible if you hover over it like in the normal micro achievements. Find a collectible on the ocean map. I used a lot of external sites for these um, formatting things and stuff. So now I want to show you all of the maps in action and loading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, stand here to select them. I'm going to have a little command just called reset map. It basically just calls a function. Um, that's basically just going to uh, reset the map. If I do that right now all the holes will be gone. The chest will be um, filled up again. So the first map is planes. You might as well. You might have seen this one. Uh, this is the basic planes with a river and a tree, and inside of the tree is the collectible. I shouldn't really spoil the collectibles, but if you don't want spoilers, just don't watch this. So then there's a desert, which has a little temple underground, cacti, and uh, like it's supposed to be a tiger tree. Um, I don't know what tree to put there otherwise. The Nether. I'll have to load it. There we go. I might make them auto in the future. The collectible is somewhere over here. I know where it is, I'm not gonna tell you, it's a little harder. Um, then there's trees, uh, the two types of trees that we're at in 1.16 and the nether. And there's a cave, and as you can see, if you're looking at this from the outside, it doesn't really look like much, because... Well, that this is what the map looks like, it's basically just an inside thing. And you might have noticed when I'm going to spectator mode, these armor stands, like, they kind of show up. And these armor stands represent possible oh I'm trying to turn that music down. These armor stands re represent possible spawning locations for these zombies. When you load a map, it will um spawn all of these armor stands at the correct positions. And for example, this uh armor stand right here, a zombie will when it spawns will randomly teleport to one of these armor stands and it will just uh spawn there. And the player spawns here and there's also one armor stand for each for the player spawns. Um so this is the cave map, it doesn't really look that good. You can see some ores on the side here. Uh, then there is the end map, which I have shown, so now I'm going to show it again. The island map is pretty cool. This is one of my favorites, that's not one of my favorites actually. The house map is one of my favorites. This one has a secret in it. As you can see, let me show you the secret. I'm not going to spoil it, but if you go into the, you're, someone will probably open these chests, right? So there's a book called The Important Two in here. Um, there will be a multiplayer update, stop asking me more about that later. Yes, I will add more maps, also more kits and modifiers, I need ideas, all these ideas, they're, they're too much. Why are you reading this? Where, why, where is important one? Because this is called important two. It could take private information, maybe you can find somewhere, I forgot where it is. So, somewhere on this map is actually important one, uh, which has stuff in it that, um, you don't want to know. So, it's a secret, okay, I'm not gonna tell you, that's the fun about this map. So then we have Ocean, I've shown you this one. Then I have Void, which is one of my personal favorites. Um, it's literally just a void. 
Um, as you can see, there's one middle part here where the player will spawn. That's because the armor stand is there. And then four armor stands on the outer like things where the zombies will spawn. Let me stay in, the, in uh, spectator because you can still activate the maps in spectator. Um, then we have the last map, which is winter. This is by, probably my favorite. I'm gonna like load it from here. There we go. It loads seamlessly as well. Um, more about that in a technical video. Um, so this has an igloo. Uh oh, look what's here. I can't open this. Um, there's a tree with like uh, player heads as presents on top. There's like two ice spikes. The zombie spawns in this ice spike. Zombie spawn here, here, here. Probably one yeah here. Yeah, they spawn all over the place. Um, more about that on my website. There's a lot. If I add anything new, I'll probably add it to the website immediately. So where do these maps come from? I'll give you this before I do the technical video. The maps literally just get cloned over from here outside the map. This literally is all of them. Uh, here, here's the beautiful cave map. <laughs> um, this, yeah. Here's the end map. Um, and fun fact, this end portal is actually built correctly so you can actually activate it. I might actually do something with that in the future. Um, as like an easter egg or something, I don't know. Here's the house map, here's the island map. This is the secret room. There's a lot of secrets on this map and you'll, you'll probably find them. That's the exciting part about it. So this will release on August 21st. Um, I'll probably release it for Curse Forge, for MinecraftMaps.com, for Planet Minecraft, and also a um, direct download link on Google Drive for anyone that needs that. Um, I'll probably drop a trailer for that on August 21st as well. Um, more videos about this will follow, including the technical video in like a few days. Uh, I'll also make um, just a video where I play it for 10 minutes. Um, this will probably come out um, after the technical one, pretty soon after that one. Um, I don't know. Else, I don't know what else I can make. But if you guys have any ideas for maps, kits, um, anything else, game modifiers, anything for this map, please tell me if you um, have any ideas in the comment section, and I will gladly read them and give my feedback. Oh, also, I forgot this wall. This is the help wall. Um, if you're running low on FPS, right now I have 6 FPS, so it doesn't matter. Performance help says Optifine is recommended. By using Optifine you can lower a ton of graphic settings and get overall better FPS. We recommend using the OptiForge mod, which I'm using right now. Um, render distance is 5 to 6 chunks. That's actually way too high for me right now. Um, because all of the command blocks need to kind of be rendered in. Um, uh, they don't need to be rendered in for them to work, but I... It's better if they are, so recommended graphic setting are low, because you don't really need much graphing, graphic things for this. And this FAQ, can I play this map with friends? Not at the moment, currently the map is designed for single player only, we're not saying that playing with friends will break the map, but it will mess up some parts. True, because first of all, the um, spawning of the players will completely break, it won't work. The dying of the players, because when you die, it will show your wave that you died at, and it will teleport you to the respawn pod, which is, uh, where is it? It's all the way over here. Also, there's a trash bin here. You now you can throw sh stuff in here, like the ocean collectible, and it will be gone. You can't open this, by the way. Um, so that's basically the map right now. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.